Hello illustrators, this is a more concise uh, walkthrough of the striped t-shirt project uh, that we did on Tuesday in class. So I'm going to start with my existing t-shirt file. This is from the t-shirt project. I'm going to go ahead and delete the back view. I'm going to do all my work on the front view and then duplicate that one from my back view. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a very simple stripe pattern. I'm using my rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a single rectangle. I'm going to make sure it has a fill and no stroke. I'm going to open my swatch palette. I'm going to give it a nice bright color. And then I'm going to duplicate that stripe by clicking and holding with my group selection tool. I'm going to add option to duplicate and shift to hold it in alignment. And then I'm going to fill that with a second color. It's very important that the lines, the, the sides of it are in alignment. Um, doesn't much so matter top to bottom, but these need to be perfectly in alignment. So you must hold down that shift key so that we get a really nice repeat pattern. And then I'm going to select both of those shapes. I'm going to drag and drop into my swatch box and it's going to put that pattern swatch in here. Then I can click on the outline of my t-shirt and I can fill it with a stripe. It's very important that this outline be a complete path, a continuous path. If it is not joined all the way around, you will not be able to use some of the live paint features that we're going to be using next to cut off these sleeves. So the next part, we need to rotate the stripe on the sleeves so it is appropriately constructed. Right now, the stripe is flowing continuously from the body to the sleeve. So I'm going to select my outline path. I'm going to hold down Shift, and I'm going to select my two armholes. I'm going to go under Object, choose Live Paint, and Make. I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to go to my uh, toolbox. Underneath the Shape Builder tool is the Live Paint Bucket tool. With the Live Paint Bucket tool selected, I select on the back, I select the sleeve, and I select the other sleeve. And then I go under Object, Live Paint, I paint expand. That creates three different shapes. And now I can manipulate the fill pattern, in this case my stripe, independently. So I'm going to click on my first sleeve. I'm going to choose the rotate tool. And then I'm going to click on the tilde key. Tilde is the key directly above tab on the left side of your keyboard. Holding down tilde, I can rotate the pattern by clicking and holding with my mouse. The stripe should be parallel to the hem of the t-shirt sleeve. I'm going to click on the other sleeve, click on my rotate tool, hold down tilde and rotate it back the other way. Okay. I can also move the stripes in here. If I click on the uh, t-shirt sleeve, I can hold down tilde. If I select it with my selection tool and hold down tilde, I can move the stripe. So maybe I want to only have a red stripe at the bottom instead of a blue stripe. Tilde allows me to move the pattern without moving the shape. Okay. So things are a little uh, out of order. I can't see some of my, like my neckline detail. I can't see my top stitching detail. So I'm going to select my body and the sleeve. And I'm going to use Command X to cut and copy and Command V to send it back. So now I've got my body. I can see my, my hem. I can see my sleeve hem my armhole seams and I have this nice black outline that's still complete running around the outside. The next part we're going to work on is the neckline. I'm going to hide my neck ribbing, this wide stroke that we apply a, a dash and gap to. I'm going to select the front neckline, I'm going to select the back neckline holding down shift and then I'm going to choose object hide selection. Its key command is command 3. This is going to hide that, uh, those pieces of the drawing, and it's still in registration. I can bring it back at any time by clicking Object Show All, and it puts it right back in place. But it removes it from the workspace so that I don't accidentally click on it or keep clicking on it when I'm trying to work on another section. So now we're going to produce a fill here in the uh, back neck rib and the front neck rib. I want to make sure these has touch, touch or intersect that outline. Uh, if there is a gap, the live paint tool is going to assume that that is an open path and it's not going to create these concise shapes. 
So once all your paths are connect, uh, touching the external paths and touching one another, we're going to select the bottom path here, which is where the rib joins the body. I'm going to hold down shift. I'm going to select the top of the neckline, front neckline. I'm going to hold down shift, select the back neckline where the rib joins the body. And then I'm also going to select the outline. Then I'm going to go under Object, Live Paint, Make, same process again. I'm going to get the Live Paint, tool, paint Bucket tool, which is under the Shape Builder tool. I'm going to click in here for our, oh, I've got to make sure I've got a fill in here so I know I'm making shapes. Click in here to make the front neck rib and click in here to make the back neck rib. Then I go under Object, Live Paint, Expand. Now that those are expanded, I have these individual shapes in here which I can use for my rib, rib contrast rib. Then I want to show my rib pattern, so I choose Object, Show All. And right now it's behind these green ribs that I've made, so I can, with my key command, I can use Command X to cut and copy Command F to paste in front. And now I've got my ribbing and I have my contrast neck band. So now it's just the order of the objects to kind of clean things up. Right here I can see my back rib is in front of my front neck band. So I'm going to select my, I'm going to lock my outline because I like where my outline is. And then I'm going to do a marquee select which selects my stripe pattern and my back neckline and I can choose Command X on my keyboard, Command V to send behind, and that puts all that behind my front neck band. Okay. And that is a pretty good looking t-shirt. So I'm going to unlock everything that I've locked. I'll go ahead and delete my stripe. I'm going to get my selection tool. I'm going to select the whole thing. I'm going to group it. And then I'm ready to do my back view by copying the front view. I'm going to lock the body, Command 2, select the front neck rib and delete it. And then this part is just extending these shapes and doing a little cleanup up here to make, to make that fill extend to the whole, the whole um, part of the neck band and extending that rib pattern. This looks like I've got some open paths here that I need to fix. I'm going to click on that green rib and I just want the corner there. Oops. I'm going to lock that because I keep grabbing that. Got lots of extra points. There we go. This, and then move that rib to the end. Okay. All right. And then I want to make sure I've got everything unlocked, and then I want to group that back view. So that is how you do the striped t-shirt.